Hi, thank you for joining me, Spiritual Seeker. It is greatly appreciated. Okay, so today's message is about what you think you create. Ooh, that's a deep one. What you think you create. Okay, so like this fell on my heart. And so if you're feeling fearful, then that's what you create. If you are feeling fearful of being in debt, then that is what you create. You create debt. If you are feeling fearful of being alone, then that is what you will create, being alone in loneliness. If you are fearful of your marriage and or relationship failing, then that's what you will create, a broken marriage, divorce, or a bad or broken relationship, a breakup. If you are feel, fearful of losing your job, then that is what you will create, a layoff, or you might get fired. Whatever you fear, that is what you will create, okay? The enemy will come in. The enemy is a spirit. A lot of us don't know that. This is something I've learned too. I'm not trying to act like I'm above anybody. I've learned these things along my process and I'm still learning and I'll continue to learn until I transition. But the, the enemy is a spirit and those spirits will come and lay that or sow that bad seed of whatever that is, that fear is in your life, okay? If you are fearing a job loss, that spirit, that enemy of that bad spirit is gonna come in and lay that bad seed of some sort of job loss or problems with your job, okay? So let me tell you my story, okay? I had gone through, um, I was going through a divorce, and um, I had a fear of not being able to make it financially on my own. I had, I was with my ex-husband for almost 20 years. So, so I had a fear of financially not being able to make it on my own. So what do you think happened to me? I started to have financial problems. I got sick. I wasn't able to work. Things started to break down in my house. I'm talking costly, expensive things. Had to be replaced, not just repaired, which cost me thousands of dollars and eventually put me into debt. Um, so yeah, and why? Because I allowed the fear to take over in me. So that's what I was creating. I was creating that whole mess in my own life. And at the time, I didn't understand it. You know, I didn't understand what was going on. You know, you go into this, why me? Uh, I'm not a bad person. I'm not doing anything wrong. But it's your feeling inside, that feeling of fear and your thoughts. You know, your thoughts create your out, you know, your the outside of what's your, what's going on. You know what I mean? So your feelings and your thoughts create what's going on and what's happening in your life. And at the time, I didn't understand that. So I was creating a big mess in my life. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. God doesn't want us to live in fear. God wants us to live in love, happiness, and gratitude. And I try to write notes because then when I get on here, you guys, like this is, I I don't even know how I got on YouTube. I know it's such a simple thing for a lot of people, but I am not computer or technical or phone savvy savvy in any way. I honestly barely started like watching YouTube in the midsummer towards the end of the, the year, towards the end of the summer of 2020. No joke. I'm not like on any line stuff. So this is like, I'm sorry, it's, it's way out of my comfort zone. So I try to do notes because... Um, when you get these messages and then when I get on here, I forget to tell you guys some of the things that I've been guided to tell, tell you guys or encourage you about. So that's what I was trying to say. Anyway, sorry about that. Okay. So God wants us to be in, in love, gratitude, and happiness. Not now don't get me wrong. God wants us to fear him. Okay. He wants us to fear him so that we follow his rules, judgments, and commandments. But he doesn't want us living in fear. That fear is not of God. Fear is of the enemy. Okay? I learned that the hard way. And I don't want you guys to go through that. In fact, God told me 
he told me this. In fact, he told me that he had been given a bad reputation. I don't know. I thought that was funny. You know, we all deal with stuff like that. And I mean, his humor. God has a funny sense of humor. I mean, it's hilarious to me that he said he had been given a bad reputation. He's really of kindness and love. And of course, he's like like a parent that um, when a child's in trouble, you know, they reprimand them. Of course, he'll reprimand you, you know, and of course, vengeance is his, you know, but um, he's very loving and kind and he's very funny, has a very sense, very funny sense of humor. And I'm sure a lot of you know that those who definitely have been building a relationship or already have a relationship with him. You're probably learning that throughout the things he's doing in your life, how funny he can be. Where do you think we get our sense of humor from? It's not just from our parents, you know? And where do you think our parents get their sense of humor from? God. God. Okay. So, um, but he wants us to be thankful and to have a sense of gratitude for the good times and the bad times. And I know through the bad times, it's hard to be grateful, but it could always be worse, right? Um, during the bad times, we learn something from them. You learn something from the good times and the bad times, as hard as it may be. And sometimes we don't see it till later because I saw a lot of it later. You know what I mean? And now I'm trying to learn as I go through the good and the bad to try to learn what it is that I need to change as I'm going through them, you know, so I can do better and, and um, get through them easier so it's not so hard. And I don't continue that cycle and so that I can turn it around a little bit quicker. Learn from it, get through it, and turn it around. I would say face it, fix it, and move forward. You know what I'm saying? Something like that, you know? Okay. So that we can come out of that. Okay, so um, you're going to learn something from both of them. And I just want to help you come out of your fearful state faster, you know? I don't want you to stay there as long as I did, you know? Because it makes stuff a lot harder for you. Um, I was watching this one YouTube guy. And I don't know if I can say his name. but So I'm not going to say his name. But he said on one of his videos that he cried for five years, you guys. Five years of his life. You know? He cried. I mean, that's heartbreaking. That someone was in that much pain for that long. And I don't want any of, any of that for you guys or myself. You know? I want to help people come out of this faster. You know? To turn it around quicker. As, as fast as possible. Sooner the better. Okay. And I'm not judging him for that. I mean, he really touched me that he shared that. And that's very humbling, you know, very humbling. And I'm thankful for him that he's not there. And I just want to make sure others don't ever get there because not everybody's as strong to go through that. You know, we all need strength and we all pray for strength sometimes more, some more than others. And if you're not praying for strength, please do because you need it to make it through these days. I mean, a lot of people are going through a lot and some aren't making it through it, you know, unfortunately. So pray for strength as well. And I just want you guys to come out of it faster. Okay. I want you to come out of that state of fear faster so that you can change your feelings and your current circumstances. If you think positive and happy thoughts, then that's what you will create. I know that it sounds easier said than done, but it really is easier than you think. When I started to ignore my current circumstances and not care anymore and just say, I'm going to be happy with whatever. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to fight that fear. I'm going to let that fear go. I don't care anymore. You know? Um, then things started to change and turn around for me. But you really can do it. You really can do it. I've been there. Trust me, you can do it. I am a living example of this. I have turned my life around by simply ignoring my outside circumstances and focusing on the positive things that I want. And now I am starting to see a positive outcome from it all. I was sitting in that doubt Fear, I mean, the enemy had put doubt on me when God had commanded me. God commanded me to do it. And he said he needed more action out of me. And I was like, I, uh, me? I don't want to come on YouTube and do this stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want my face on YouTube. <laughs> and I was like, what am I going to talk about? You know? And he, he told me I was qualified. And I didn't believe I was qualified. And God was telling me I was qualified. And I'm telling you, I tried to run from it. And he's not going to let you run from it. 
It just gets worse. So it's better just to, as soon as you can, take it from me. Follow his judgment rules and commandments. Be obedient, please. Please be obedient so you don't have to go through what I went through. Don't doubt yourself, you guys. If God says you're qualified, if he commands you to do it, you do it. Because he's going to make it prosperous. Don't give up on yourself. Don't, don't believe the enemy in your head putting that doubt and fear in you. Okay? Don't believe that. Don't have that fear. Don't allow the enemy to win. You can do it. Keep praying if you need to. Keep praying, okay? And whatever makes you feel good, start doing. Whatever it is. I don't know if it's um within reason. You know, if you like eating, I don't want you to go and eat all the cupcakes and then, you know, you may have health problems from too much sugar. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying, you know, if something healthy, if you if you enjoy listening to music, watch a comedy, um, go for a walk, if you like hiking, if you like biking, whatever it is that you like, if you like reading, just try to do things you enjoy more so that you can turn your energy and your feelings around more to the positive things. If you like spending time with your family and kids, um, if you like going for a drive, just whatever it may be within reason and safety, please and thank you. Um, you, you know, with common sense, of course, do what you enjoy to help turn your energy back around from the negative to the positive, okay? So I just really wanted to give you this thought of encouragement. What you think as you create, please try to start start thinking more positively. Please try to um, keep your faith and stay positive. And remember, God wants you to be happy. He wants you to spread love and kindness. He wants you to be thankful and have gratitude and be positive, okay? Um, the fear is of the enemy. God is love. Fear is of the enemy. And I want to thank you all for watching this video to the end. If you can, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Totally free for you and so greatly appreciated by me. Prayers and blessings to all. Thank you. Bye.